Hello, John here. I'm excited to have an N-Scale model from Microtrains today to take a look at. So let's go over to the workbench and see what it is. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is a 60 foot rib side high cube double plug boxcar from Microtrains. And obviously, since this is N Scale Friday, it's N Scale. You can't really tell though, can you? Because this is a really well done model. These will be available as three packs for $89.94, or you can get them individually for $29.98. Let's take a closer look. The model comes in a jewel case and it comes with separate parts to be applied by the end user. These are air hoses. So after scrutinizing the paint and the markings, I can tell you that I haven't seen anything better than this. I mean, this is a really well done model. I tried magnifying to the maximum capability of the visor that I have and some of the tiniest stuff wasn't quite legible but everything else is and frankly from regular viewing distance I wouldn't expect to be able to read any of the lettering anyway but one thing I do want to point out which is pretty remarkable is that this latch detail in the doors is separately applied and my friend Dave shared a video that Microtrains put out that was about the making of this model. I mean, not this one that's sitting on my, my bench here, but this particular run of TTX boxcars. And I was really intrigued because they showed how these are made and the doors are separately applied parts as well as the, the door latch detail. So it's pretty amazing. And something else that I find really cool about this is that these are all made here in the US. They're made in, a, in the Microtrains factory up in Oregon. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about the brake end. That is, not surprising, a separately applied brake wheel. Those are separately applied ladders. That's an uncoupling lever. And I already told you that the separate parts that come with this to be applied by me are the air hoses. So this has everything you would want on it. Pretty cool for end scale. And that is a photo etched crossover platform. Very cool. I just figured I'd show you this side of the BN just to point out this is where the air hose would get added. The AN has similar detail with separately applied ladders, photo etched crossover platform and a cut lever. Pretty cool. I guess I probably don't need to tell you that it has microtrans couplers, right? But I will tell you that they're body mounted. That's pretty cool. All right, looking at the top, you can see it has all the detail you would expect on the roof. This would look especially good once it's weathered. As I mentioned a minute ago, they're body mounted microtrans couplers. Of course, microtrans trucks. What else would it be? But Look at all that brake detail. Isn't that cool? That's a separately applied part. I mean, that's that's really good. It seems like Microtrains is really stepping up their game here. Very impressive. And while we're at it, did I mention these are 36 inch blackened metal wheels? This car comes with everything that you could want on it straight out of the box. So I have to say I am very impressed with this model. And when I say Microtrains is picking up their game, what I mean by that is I've seen a lot of older Microtrains cars and they always have truck mounted couplers, molded detail, kind of what you expect from old end scale. And this model is on par with any of the best end scale models that I've seen. And to make things even more intriguing, at least to me, it's also made in the USA, and that's pretty cool. So good job, Microtrains. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else you have up your sleeve as far as new releases go. So good job, I'll see you next time.